Hey guys, David here and welcome to Digital Outlook. Guys, we have an amazing show for you today. XRP braces for billions with institutional gold rush. So guys, let's get to it. So guys, it seems like day after day after day, we're hearing more and more about the potential for this XRP ecosystem. And guys, I'll tell you what, today is no exception. In fact, just check this article out right over here. And of course, it's going to be talking about an XRP ETF and what potential it could bring. Ripple's XRP braces for billions in inflows as special exchange traded fund bid likely to trigger institutional gold rush. Guys, just listen to this right down here. The recent approval of spot Ethereum ETFs by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has ignited a fervent debate within the cryptocurrency community about the future of similar financial instruments and other digital assets and of course xrp being one we all know how brad garlinghouse came out and said for him it's an inevitability in fact he believes that we are not only going to see individual etfs but etfs made up of baskets of these digital assets now at the center of this debate is xrp one of the most popular cryptocurrencies which has become a focal point of speculation and discussion regarding the potential for an XRP ETF in the United States. A recent poll by a prominent XRP community member on social media platform X highlighted a significant division in opinion. Of the respondents, 66% expressed confidence that an XRP ETF would be approved by 2025, while 34% remained doubtful. I think a big proponent of that is going to be the settlement of this case. That is one thing for sure. Now, listen to the difference in these two points of view. Proponents, institutional investment and market legitimacy. Advocates for an XRP ETF argue that its introduction could lead to a substantial increase in institutional investment. They believe that an ETF would provide a regulated and accessible entry point for institutional investors, which could in turn lead to a surge in XRP adoption. Proponents suggest that this increased participation would enhance XRP's legitimacy and stability in the market. Historical data supports this view as Bitcoin's rise to a new all-time high was partly attributed to the approval of spot Bitcoin's ETFs earlier this year. And guys, they have a big point here because right now, many institutions who want to absolutely get into this ecosystem can't do it and why their fiduciary responsibility due to the volatility of this space but when you start talking about exchange traded funds what happens the door opens wide doesn't it and hedge funds pension plans and you name it can get in on these etf exchange traded fund securities with a commodity like xrp as the underlying asset and for sure that kind of institutional money could really come in and do wonders for this ecosystem but guys there is an alternative view and this is it right down here skeptics xrp core utility over institutional involvement however not all members of the xrp community share this optimistic outlook bill morgan a well-known advocate for xrp voices skepticism about the necessity for an exchange traded fund for xrp's future success Morgan and like-minded community members argue that XRP's true value lies in its ability to facilitate seamless cross-border payments. We're talking about 
its utility. Now, they believe the focus should remain on this core utility rather than attracting institutional investment through an ETF. And guys, I agree with that as well. In fact, I think we're talking about two sides of the same coin. Pardon the pun right there. We need a solid utility to answer global problems to really cause this whole thing to really just perpet just explode in its use case. And of course, we have that with XRP putting aside all the Nostro Vostro in its cross border payments. Now, Nostro Vostro, of course, for those that are just new to the space, we're talking about all these accounts where banks have to hold them in each other's in order to you know provide liquidity liquidity with these swift transactions of cross-border payments and money transfers. And that is exactly what Nostro Vostro means. It means ours, yours, and Latin. And of course, with XRP and on-demand liquidity, you wipe out that necessity for Nostro Vostro. And guys, there are trillions of dollars locked up in these Nostro Vostro accounts that could be completely liberated utilizing XRP and its on-demand man liquidity platform so utility in my view is absolute king but guys on top of that we need to march forward into the future of this financial system and an exchange traded fund allows for institutional adoption while we're awaiting to get some major major regulatory clarity but i'll tell you what when that regulatory clarity comes guys and with the fit 21 bill that just went through the house that gets through the senate biden's office administration said they're not going to oppose it that could really send this space into something else and per fact per perhaps even its own indice so guys I think both things are important. We need to be working with these institutions for this global adoption to happen. But guys, we need killer utility like nothing else to see it literally take the number one spot. And I absolutely believe XRP has it hands down. Now, guys, just check this article out right here. Analyst shares four stages of XRP price action forecast rocket rally by the summer. Listen to this. TradingView analyst Moral Disciple has outlined a four-stage framework for analyzing altcoin bull markets and applying it to XRP specifically. This framework offers insight into XRP's current market position and suggests a potential price upswing by this summer, guys, June, July, August. Boom, right there. That is right around the corner. Now, listen to this. Moral Disciples Framework identifies four key stages in altcoin bull market accumulation, initial price rise, consolidation chop and sustained upward movement up only now listen to these definitions the accumulation this stage follows a prolonged bear market which of course we have just been through prices stabilize and consolidate marking a potential turning point from a downtrend to an uptrend investors entering during this phase can benefit from future price increases now, initial price rise, the first leg up. Prices begin to a noticeable climb during this stage. However, many investors remain cautious, guys, because it's at the belief stage and not everyone is believing it, right? Potentially missing the initial signs of a bull market. Now, consolidation chop. Following the initial surge, the market enters a period of sideways movement with price fluctuations within a narrow range. This choppy phase can test investor patience, but it's a reaccumulation opportunity before the final upstream. And we have not seen that on a number of bull markets for XRP where it just kind of tinkered along, tinkered along, drove people to the point of capitulation because they lost patience and all of a sudden one day bam off it flew just like that now 
more, more now sustained upward movement. This is the final and most profitable stage. Prices experience rapid growth, attracting significant media attention and new investors. This can lead to new all-time highs. However, it's crucial to note that early investors often exit during this peak while latecomers may be susceptible to the illusion of a limitless rally. Moral Disciple believes that the market is currently in the third stage consolidation chop. He anticipates a swift transition to the up-only phase, potentially leading to a significant price increase by late June. This could mark the beginning of a broader upward trend. According to Moral Disciple, XRP currently presents a potential buying opportunity for investors. He argues that all coins, especially XRP, are undervalued compared to Bitcoin due to Bitcoin's recent struggle to break above the $70,000 mark. This price difference creates a potential entry point for investors looking to profit. It's important to acknowledge that XRP's historical performance, get this, against Bitcoin since August of 2023, XRP has experienced a significant climb, decline, dropping over 67% against Bitcoin. And guys, when is the best time when you're looking at any asset if you wanted to accumulate? Do you want to pay the absolute top dollar or do you want to get it when it is at a significantly reduced price with the potential of of really taking it off. Think about that one. Now, the extent downtrend has pushed the monthly relative strength index on the XRP BTC chart into oversold territory at 37. However, some analysts interpret this as a sign of impending reversal. Moral discipline aligns to this, moral disciple aligns with this view, suggesting XRP has entered a price uptrend phase guys we have been here before and as they say history yeah it doesn't repeat but boy does it ever rhyme and how many technical analysis guys have come out and basically have been whistling the same tune about xrp that in and of itself is mind bending that these guys are all coming to a big level of agreement and not all of them are like XRP maxis. People from all various types of TAs have been looking at this chart saying this is one heck of a setup. Now, guys, just check this article out right here. XRP's market cap could reach $3 trillion. Well, guys, what are we talking about when XRP reaches a $3 trillion market cap? Guys, we're talking about about a $30 XRP. That's what it comes to. Now, XRP's market cap could sort of $3 trillion, analysts suggest. According to eGrag Crypto, the coin is currently within the white channel a crucial range that defines its potential market cap growth. The midpoint of this channel is at $100 billion, and the upper limit is at $287 billion. The chart indicates that breaking out of this channel could propel XRP's market cap significantly higher. Now, guys, just check it out. Here is the image right here. XRP market cap to $3 trillion, the white channel. Once XRP market cap blasts out of the white channel, we're looking at a moonshot to $3 trillion market cap. And guys, here's where he's showing the last run and how it moved. And look at the similarities in accumulation. And all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Guys, don't discount it. I know a lot of people think, oh, that's never going to happen. Guys, nobody believed at that time that this was ever going to happen either, but it did. And that's the thing. Guys, you got to know what you hold. Get out there and truly investigate it. This space offers, in my opinion, one of the best opportunities that we have probably seen in our lifetimes to see absolute financial change in a person's situation like they have never seen. It has happened to others. I believe it will happen again. But guys, like I always say, you got to get out there and do your research. Build up your own confidence. And if you find out it's not for you, then fine. At least you've done your due diligence to decide and get to know what it is. But to discount it with 
without even looking into it, guys, I'm telling you, I've made that mistake too many times and I'm not making it this time. I'll tell you what. And I absolutely want to see it. It's not just me making it. I want to see you make it, guys. I want to stand it right there in the middle of that winner's circle when we cross that finish line. So guys, one thing that I can tell you is one of the best decisions that Judy and I made in that last bull run is to get our plan in place before it absolutely took off. And what our coaching program offers, that is where you and I can meet personally one-on-one -on -one for one hour over Zoom. And during that time, I share with you our personal journey in that last bull run and what enabled Judy and I to experience some amazing financial success. I share with you the mistakes we made so that you don't have to fall into the same pitfalls we did. We take a look at your portfolio and make sure that it's balanced towards your goals and we work together to develop your exit strategy. We can even get your assets off an exchange and onto a hardware wallet along with delivering to you some amazing techniques that are really going to help you in this space. Now the cost of that is $250 and if that's something that interests you, you write me right there at coaching at the digitaloutlook.com and we'll get y'all booked in. So guys, I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video and as always, it's not financial advice. It's just my two cents. Hit the like and subscribe and drop your comments right down there in the comment section and I'll catch you in the next one.